On October 4th, 1992, LL Flight 1862 crashed into an apartment building in Amsterdam. In the months following the crash, surviving victims reported severe health problems they believed were caused by the crash. They believed that the cause was uranium that was on board the plane. Similarly, after the crash of Korean Air Cargo Flight 8509 in 1999, there was concern that emergency service employees were also being exposed to uranium. Both of these crashes have been covered on our podcast, and links to those episodes are available in the description below. And you may wonder, why could a plane crash lead to possible uranium exposure? Well, the reason behind that is that from 1968 until 1981, depleted uranium was used in the assembly of most Boeing 747s. Of course, to many people this may sound absurd, so why did Boeing use uranium on their 747s? Until 1981, Boeing used depleted uranium as a counterweight or ballast in 747s. Depleted uranium is a byproduct of a process called enrichment, which is where the isotope used for nuclear power or weapons is removed from natural uranium ore. As a result of enrichment, the depleted uranium is much less radioactive than typical uranium. The counterweights were between 12 and 83 pounds, or 5.5 and 37.7 kilograms, and they were coated with nickel, cadmium, and a primer to prevent oxidation or the loss of electrons, which would result in uranium oxide. According to the UK Department for Transport, regular handling of the depleted uranium is safe with the coating and primer. Now you may be wondering what are counterweights and why are they used in a plane? Well, counterweights or ballasts are used to alter the center of gravity in an aircraft. Pilots use a formula to determine if the center of gravity is too far aft or forward and the ballast is added or removed to the plane to make sure the center of gravity is within correct operational limits. The ballast can be either temporary or permanent as well. Temporary ballasts typically come in the form of sandbags or bags of small lead beads known as lead shot and they are added to the baggage compartment. In the case of permanent ballasts, metal plates are permanently fixed to the plane to prevent movement during takeoff and landing. Where they're installed depends on the area of the plane that's affecting the center of gravity. In 747s, depleted uranium was installed in the tail, in the elevator, and rudder systems. Depleted uranium was chosen over other metals because of its high density, meaning it takes up a small amount of space. For instance, depleted uranium is 1.67 times more dense than lead. So for example, a cubic foot of lead weighs 710 pounds, but the same amount of uranium weighs 1,180 pounds. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, depleted uranium was also relatively abundant and cheap to get a hold of because the Department of Energy was producing it as a byproduct at nuclear power plants. While it may sound scary, according to Boeing, the workers handling the materials as well as the employees on the plates were exposed to extremely small amounts of radiation, and it could only be hazardous if inhaled or consumed. Though, due to the concern for radiation in the case of a crash, Boeing began using tungsten counterweights instead and provided tungsten replacements for 747 still in use. And for reference, tungsten weighs about 1,205 pounds per cubic foot. If a crash were to occur, the depleted uranium could come into contact with high heat and fire, which might remove the coating and cause radiation to leak out of the fully exposed depleted uranium. This could be dangerous if someone were to mishandle the now exposed depleted uranium. With the replacement of depleted uranium and the fact that 747s are used less frequently today, the odds of being exposed to radiation from a plane are highly unlikely. Unless you're worried about cosmic radiation in the cabin. Maybe we'll talk about that in the future.